Hello, in this video, I will teach you a basic method to draw anything you want. When you're learning how to draw, it's important to have a reference because you should draw what you see and not what you think you see. This image is not a good example of that, but this is just a simplification. An example of that is this pen. If you look at it, it just looks like a pen. But if you cover everything and you look at a tiny bit of it, you start to see different details like the little lines, the cap, the dimensions, and that's important when you're learning how to draw. As you can see, this method has three stages. The first one is blocking in. You see your reference and you see the basic shapes that compose it. In this case, there's a bigger circle for the petals, a smaller circle for the inside, and an even smaller circle for the really deep inside. There's the stem, which is a line, and the little leaves. You don't need to draw them in detail. You can draw them simply pointing in the direction and with the basic dimensions that they will be. This face should always be drawn in pencil because you will need to erase it and refine it, which leads us to the second stage, which is refining it. After you have the blocks, you will go for the foundation. So you'll need to draw more details, start actually defining the individual parts of it. In this case, you'll actually draw the petals and you'll start defining the leaves and you'll define the dimensions of the stalk. This leads us to our third phase, which is details. You can actually color it from now, you can line it with a proper pen and then erase the sketch. Everything should be in its place now. Obviously, it should be better than this. This is just an example, but with a lot of practice, you'll see. So a trick for when you're confused on how to angle a line, for example, this one, would be to think of a clock. So imagine you have the 12 and the 6. This line will be pointing like this. So in this case, it would be pointing at 1030. You can use this clock for every single angle that you need to figure out. For example, you want to find uh, this one. You just see that it's like this. So in a clock, it would be pointing at one. That way it will be very easy to figure out the lines of the angles of everything around you and easy to draw them. When you're confused, if your image is correct after you actually have drawn that already, you can use the grid method. So you have your reference and you put a grid on top of it. You can make it or you can put it in an app and see and you draw the grid or you imagine it depending on how you prefer on your actual like paper that you'll be drawing from then you can see where the little ear will meet so it's the second square of the top row or the eye which would be the second square of the second row and so on when you're confused you can further divide it so you can actually get a representation of where it would fit in so here, I divided it in half, so you could see. You can do the same. When using the grid method, it's important to make sure the dimensions match both on your reference and on your paper, or you'll warp it. If after using the grid method, you're still confused if your image is correct, if it's not, you can simply put it in an app and flip it. When it's horizontally flipped, you can probably see way more easily if it's actually correct or not. I'll exemplify all of this in an actual drawing. Now I'll show you how to use the method previously described. So we start out with the blocking in. Okay, so this is the blocking in. Now you're going to refine it.
I'm going to line it with a fine liner for a clean look. After this, you can just erase the pencil marks. From here, you can add any details you want. So let's start again. I'm going to block in first. So after you block it in, you can refine it. You can either choose to line it like this or to paint it with this, to shade it with this. You can use a thin eraser to erase the pencil marks that you're not going to need. I'm going to shade it. As you can see, a dark background makes the figure pop. You can also blend it so it looks more smooth and faded. Don't forget to practice and to like and subscribe. See you next video.